Alright, so this is a video tu video tutorial on how to just uh, start off with creating maps. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you look over here and you see this little block tool. Click on that. This is what you're going to use to make all the different blocks and everything that you use to make a level. So we're going to start off by, you see in this grid over here, well, first off, the three different grids are where you're going to move and resize stuff. Because uh, that's how the, it represents it in a two-dimensional way, so that way it's easier for you to, re, to resize and move it all. And the camera down here is how it'll look like. Not necessarily in-game, but it'll, it's just like a three-dimensional representation, so it's easier for you to figure out how to, what everything will look like. So anyways... All right, we're going down to this bottom right grid, and we're going to click and drag. Try to get it into these four white boxes, and it, it should be size uh, 1024 by 1024. All right, now you're going to right-click it and click Create Object. And now, if you're using the default settings, it will start off, and you'll see in the little map down here, a box that should appear and says, it's covered in things that say pills here. And if you don't see it, then try clicking the camera up here. And then to move it, you just click and drag. And then you use the WASD keys to move it around. And you can look at it from all different directions from the bottom, left, right, side, stop, everything. Right. So now you've created the, uh, the block you're going to use in your level. Now, what you need to do is come up here and just click that. This is your basic selection tool. As you can see, you zoom in, select it on all the sides. So, yeah. And you'll see uh, yellow and red lines in all three grids. Now, you just come over here and click Browse. Now, well, you'll see this huge thing with all sorts of different textures and stuff in it. These are all the textures for the game that you use to a build. So, just type in, go ahead and type in, in the filter, and this is how you can easily search for stuff, type in dev. Now, you can scroll down, look at all this different stuff, and we want to come to the one that says dev slash dash dev underscore measure generic 01B. So you're going to double click that. And now it won't turn it into it automatically. Right now you just have that texture selected. So what you need to do is you come over here and underneath the create brush tool, that's what the boxes and things used to build the level are, their brushes, you just come down to this one that looks like a, just a brick, uh, a brick covered block. So just click that. And then now, as you'll see, it turned, it changed what it looks like. So now it's covered in gray squares and everything. Alright, so now you've created your very for first uh, brush and you have edited it so that it looks different and you know how to texturize stuff. Now, let's make it let's make it like a huge room. So all you're gonna have to do is come over here and in go ahead and use the top uh, left grid and go ahead and click and drag so that its size. 448 by 64. Now, as you'll see, there's these huge white lines that show up in this. That's just, uh, that's basically telling you where it'll appear. And don't worry about overlapping the different stuff, because, uh, it's, you can do that. It's just, it, uh, actually, uh, what is it? Anyways, you, you just don't have to worry about that. It automatically takes care of that in the game. So just right click, create object. Now you have that wall. Now do the same thing on the other side. Or instead of having to create a whole new block, you can shift and then use the and then click one of the arrow keys and it'll automatically duplicate that object and make it into the, whatever space on the grid you just entered. So I just use the uh, right arrow key so that and then click and drag it across to move it. Now 
gonna you now you can come over to this grid down here and click and drag it there and you'll see it appear then shift right click drag it along alright so now we have a bottom and four walls let's go ahead and make give it a roof shift up click drag it up alright so now we have this huge room but the it's kinda confusing though isn't it with the walls and everything the same color so let's go ahead and you can control click to select all the walls and then come over here into the browse and the the use the dev right next to the one we just used dev slash dev measure generic oh eric oh one just double click that click the texturize tool and look now we have gray ceilings and yellow walls so now it's easier for the people to figure it out so there you go that's basically how you create different rooms and everything so check back in later for the next tutorial goodbye